Navy to use U.S. aircraft launch system in ship. The Navy is likely to go with an advanced catapult-based aircraft launch mechanism, CATOBAR, from the U.S. for its second indigenous aircraft carrier, IAC-2, which is on the drawing board. For some time, India has been exploring the possibility of installing the U.S. Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, EMILS. IAC-2 will have a CATOBAR launch. However, the kind of propulsion is yet to be decided, a senior officer said. The U.S. has offered India its latest EMILS technology, developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems Inc., which has just been installed on the Gerald Ford carrier. While the older generation of Catobar was powered by a steam catapult, EMILS uses an electric motor-driven catapult instead, which allows the launch of much heavier aircraft and also reduces the stress on the aircraft. 5 Benefits of Using EMILS Number 1, Compared to steam catapults, EMILS weighs less, occupies less space, requires less maintenance and manpower, is more reliable. Number 2, EMILS recharges quick rand uses less energy. Number 3, steam catapults, which use about 1,350 pounds, 610 kilograms, of steam per launch, have extensive mechanical, pneumatic, and hydraulic subsystems. Number 4, EMILS uses no steam, which makes it suitable for the Navy's planned all-electric ships. Number 5, compared to steam catapults, EMILS can control the launch performance with greater precision, allowing it to launch more kinds of aircraft, from heavy fighter jets to light unmanned aircraft. Disadvantages The system is expensive, something that needs to be factored in even in May 2017, President Donald Trump criticized EMILS during an interview with Time, saying that in comparison to traditional steam catapults, the digital costs hundreds of millions of dollars more money and it's no good. Conclusion Factoring in the current state of the system, the most generous numbers available show that EMILS has an average time between failure rate of 1 in 240. In other words, 1 out of 240 launches fail it can increase the power of Insvikrant which is under construction and scheduled to be launched in 2018 but on other hand the system is expensive, something that needs to be factored in. Thank you for watching please like and subscribe.